Hey, Jared Dees, the Religion Teacher .com. I want to introduce you to a prayer called the Jesus Prayer. It's very famous, very ancient prayer that's been used by monks in, as a form of contemplative prayer, especially in Eastern Catholic churches, especially in Orthodox churches, because it gives us a sense for what we should be like in prayer, how we should approach prayer. Uh, one thing I always like to say about how to be a, a good at prayer, how do you pray? You got to be humble, it's got to be heartfelt, and it's got to be habitual. And this prayer offer, offers all three of those things. That it gives us this humility of a sinner, it gives us this heartfelt reaching out to God, and you could say this habitually throughout the day. And in the Eastern churches, they actually do this praying with beads, reciting this prayer. And it comes from a few different sources. The, the first part, Lord Jesus Christ, comes from St. Paul's prayer that Jesus is Lord. We proclaim Jesus is Lord in Philippians 2. And St. Paul says that. Son of God in a number of places, but of course in Luke chapter 1, verse 35, the angel Gabriel says to Mary that, that Jesus will be the Son of God, Most High. And then this last phrase could come from a diff couple different places. One is, in the gospel stories of the blind beggar, blind Bartimaeus in Mark 10. But, but also in Luke 18, there's this parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. And the tax collector is humble while the Pharisee is not. And the tax collector's prayer is actually the, the more perfect prayer of saying, have mercy on me, a sinner. And that's the state we need to approach God as well, as sinners. Because it's, it shows our reliance in a, in a relationship on the Lord Jesus Christ to give us mercy, the Son of God to give us mercy. And that's why this prayer is used as a, a habitual way, as almost a formulaic way of approaching Jesus any time of day, saying, Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus is the Lord, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. So we must never lose that idea of being sinners because it allows us to approach the Lord God, approach the Lord Jesus Christ, asking for him to, to help us receive that mercy as sinners. So I hope this prayer is helpful for you in your daily habitual prayer life because it really does open up our hearts to be a prayer of the heart, directly going to the Lord and asking the Lord Jesus Christ as sinners to give us mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner.